Hey guys, it's Nate from PlayYourCourt.com and today we're talking about how the story of the tortoise and the hare can improve your serve. Okay guys, today we're talking about the tortoise and the hare, a little story and how it can improve your serve. Today's instruction is for player court members of all ratings. All right, everybody, this is good for everybody. Advanced players, beginners, this is critical because what we're talking about is something specific with the toss and how it can impact the serve. So how can this silly story help our serve? It's not silly, it was great, I loved it as a kid, right? But we can put it into effect in exactly what we're talking about, the tossing arm and the hitting arm and how they relate to one another. Long ago, we were taught down together, up together, and it's just not simply, it's just not accurate, right? It, can it work? Sure, but as far as timing and tempo, it's not the most conducive for, for really performing a optimal serve, all right? So in this story, what we have, all right, we have the ball being the hare, and we have the hitting arm being the tortoise, all right? And what we're asking ourselves to do is to take a moment and slow the hitting arm down and stop working together and raising everything up where the cadence gets a little bit off, right? So I know out there you might be thinking, you know, well, Federer is down together, up together. He's not, the, the, hit, the tossing arm still leads, all right? So in this motion, what we want here is we want the hair off to the races fairly fast and working through. And you'll notice here, the racket is still down, creating a pretty big lag. And whether you wanna hold it there or what we see you know, more with Federer as he separates, the arm is starting to rise and then the racket is starting to move back this way. We're getting that pendulum down to the side. That's fine. But ultimately what we're gonna find is that the racket will still catch up to the ball, all right? There's multiple reasons this is effective. One, we're putting total emphasis on the toss first. When we're down together and up together, sometimes it's really hard to catch a bad toss because it all happens so fast, right? Your arm is already up and racing up to the ball. You have this race, it just doesn't work out. You end up hitting a bad toss, all right? The other reason that it works well is because it actually assists with our ability to get back to that front foot and this hip is assisting assisting the, the, the toss, right? So in another video, we talked about the rituals that all pros have. And what this is, is bouncing the ball, back heel up. And then as I go back to this back heel, my heel goes, my back foot, my heel goes down. But then as I go to toss, you'll see the weight come back forward. And it's this movement that I really wanna isolate. And that's hard to do if I'm working together and trying to make it all happen at once. Does it happen? Yeah. Can it be successful? Sure. Is it difficult? Yes. Is it inconsistent? Absolutely. All right. So what we want here is really working through this motion to where the tossing arm is first and then the racket is catching up. All right. Tortoise and hare, right? What happened to the hare? The hare fell asleep. All right. The rotator cuff is limited. The arm is attached to the hand. So what ends up happening really quick out of the gates, but then it takes a nap just like the hare, right? And eventually what ends up happening is the tortoise gets to the finish line first, right? Who finished first? The tortoise, okay? So guys, the next time you're out there, get out there, really work on getting this toss up and make sure that you're deliberate, all right? Start off slow, put it all together, and then feel it all come together at the finish line. All right, guys, simple little story that might improve your serve by focusing on the toss, let that toss lead the serve. Get out there and try it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video today, please hit like. If you don't wanna miss any videos from Play Your Court, hit the subscribe button and hit the link below where you can check out the community. Lots of cool stuff in there. We'll see you soon.